Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today is February 29, a leap year, a leap day, however you want to call it. And my wife suggested to me that I should play Frogger, since it's a frog leaping, which makes a lot of sense. Anyways, yeah, I was going to play it on the ColecoVision, but my uh, cartridge that I have, I've been trying to clean it a lot and put it, you know, get it to work, but it just keeps messing up. So... Let's just go with the Intellivision, because this is a great version, too. Um, so I got players. I got one and level. Um, it's probably like four. I don't know. Let's, let's play level four, just to make things interesting. Oh, just I, I meant to actually go right. I don't know why I went up. And of course, I am playing this on the long play controller still. Um, I'm really enjoying this controller. I know the uh, the Intellivision always gets a lot of, you know, crap about the controllers and wow, this one is hard. Uh, people are on the fence on whether they like this controller. Or some people just outright hate it. They say it's the worst part of the whole console. Wow, this one is hard. But I think this is a great version of the game. I, I like this one. This is one I, I, I didn't have it as a kid, but I used to go to my neighbor's house uh, on the street and borrow it from them all the time. It wasn't until I actually had it on the Commodore 64. Oh, okay, I gotta remember not to jump on those guys. Yeah, I had it on the Commodore 64 where I actually was able to uh, play it whenever I want. Oh, I, I didn't know if I could go off the screen or not. Guess in this version you can't? I don't know. I don't have... I, 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 you know, I have the box. This is the box, the Intellivision box here. And there is the manual in there, so maybe I should read that. Maybe there is a way to uh, change the settings, but I didn't see it in the beginning there. I just see players and level. Let's do three. But I think as far as being pretty faithful to the arcade, this one does the trick. I mean, it's got the skill levels and It looks right, but I also like the Atari 2600 version too. I've played that, oops, i played that one a few times on my channel. Just gotta avoid all these. <laughs> this truck here was uh, one of the inspirations uh, for, ah, for the graphics for my Traffic Jam game. Uh, when I was putting that, that game together, I was like, isn't there trucks in the Frogger? So I, I think for some of the trucks that I used in, in the Traffic Jam game, I kind of made it look like the uh, trucks from Frogger. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. Now, I know that the yellow and the blue look like cars or something. I don't know what the red thing is supposed to look like. Oh. I feel like I'm losing an, uh, an uphill battle here. I'm gonna go. I always hate the one on this, the end here. Okay, let's go. Come on. Ah, I, moved, I pushed up and I shouldn't have. Oh no, time over. That was it. I thought I pushed up, but I, I forgot we're on a timer here too. I mean, I'm, I am using the long play controller, and I'm I'm I'm, fe ooh. I'm feeling like it's it's a little bit clunky on this game. I don't know if it's because of the 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 way the buttons are designed on this one. I mean, my other alternative is to use the uh, the original Intellivision 2 controller, which I don't really feel like using. I am not a fan of the Intellivision 2 controller. Uh. 
Let's do level two this time. Not really sure the full differences between level two and three. Oh, 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 okay, on, on this one I'm able to, uh, I'm able to go over, uh, past the screen. I'm finding I have to really push down on those buttons to make sure the frog moves. Almost like he has a slight delay. The frog's movement and, and when I hit the button. Oops. I went on a sinking turtle. And there is a frog or two. Um, oops. It's a weird one though. I, I tried to get into it. Maybe I should try it again. I have Frogger 2 on the Atari 2600, and I also have it on the uh, Atari 8-bit. But I don't have... Well, there is no... As far as my knowledge is, there's no uh, uh, Frogger 2 on the Intellivision. Um, whether plans were to make one, I don't know. And uh, I'm not aware of any homebrews. Oh, the jump on this. I don't know what is going on. I feel like my time is delayed or something. I think this is one where you're better off with a real arcade stick. Even an Atari jo joystick would be better. It's just that type of game where it's not really, you know... Not the best type of game for game pads. <laughs> uh, let's do a level four or four again. Oh, yeah, why not? Let's just play the challenging mode. I haven't completed a game yet. I don't know what those guys are. Those. What are those things that are those yellow things? I think whenever I played Frogger, I always played it on the easy mode. So I would never get far enough to uh, to see those critters. I like how the, the logs kind of are, are also the crocodiles. and You can see there's a croc up there and there's a fly over there. So I guess the skill level determines whether you can go off the screen or not. Oh my god, he just appeared. That's not fair. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is a leap day, leap year, leap day. And frogs came to mind. Oh, my wife's mind. She was thinking of frogs. And then she said, hey, why don't you play Frogger? I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. Oh, no. How am I going to get that? That's going to be... I don't know if I can go off the screen on this one. I think it's... No, I can't. This is... I put in four. You have to... Oh. You have to time this, like, perfectly to get in there. Snake. Okay. Oh, I did it. A thousand points. Not too bad. <laughs> now, I don't know if anything's going to change, though. I don't know if, you know, if it's just going to be level 4 continuously looping over and over again. Or... Oh, jeez. That was dumb. Okay, let's play one on easy mode. <laughs> level 1. I feel like it's moving a lot slower. I am always a sucker for the easier levels. Games are meant to be fun, not stressful. Right? No? I don't know. 
some people, they say that, you know. I like playing it on easy mode because I don't want stress. <laughs> I just want to have a fun game. But for the Atari 2600, I often just always default to the to the easy levels. You know, we you got all those options typically on the, uh, the 2600. But a lot of the games that I play on the Intellivision, I, it's the same thing. I just kind of always default to one. Just because it's easier. Okay, now I have to get that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to move. I'm like the worst Frogger player ever. <laughs> oh no! And this is the world's only frog that can't go in the water. Why do you think that is? You think it's uh, polluted? <laughs> is it, uh, you know, why, why can't this frog go in the water? How's a frog to not be able to go in the water? Oh! The road makes ton, tons of sense. I mean, that's where you get squished. Oh, jute. Ah, my reflex on that one. Ah, again. Yeah, that, that those were not some uh, some good games of mine there. It's, uh, well, I was playing on the harder levels, so normally I don't do that. Anyways, yeah, that was Frogger playing on today being a leap day, being February 29, 2024, leaping into some Frogger. Anyways, let me know what you think. What's your favorite version of Frogger? What do you play it on? Always like to hear what you have to say. Hope you subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.